Welcome to Section 2 of our course, Managing Hyper-V and Azure VM Images. This is video from Section 2, Creating a Custom Image for Windows Server 2019 in Hyper-V. Hey, thanks, Bill. So to set up an image in Hyper-V that you can copy and use multiple times, you want to go ahead and create a template VM to copy it off of. But after the install of Windows Server 2019, when you get to where it asks for a password for the built-in admin account, Instead of selecting a password, you want to enter audit mode by typing control shift F3. And what that'll do is to reboot the server and then launch you right into audit mode where you can make changes to the system without, you know, setting up any of the config stuff. Doesn't matter for a template. All right, and you notice it didn't even ask us for a password to get logged in. That's just part of audit mode. So there's a couple of things that I want to accomplish in a template. And this is where you would do things that are going to happen in all of your VMs. So for instance, I'm going to set the background, I'm going to activate the server, and I'm going to update it. Most importantly, in my opinion, is to update it. Uh, but this is where you could also install like antivirus software, uh, any other kind of software you use, set a custom start menu, that sort of thing, if you wanted to do that. Okay, so what I've done is I have attached a VHG to this machine. There you go. That has the wallpaper that I want to use. So I'm going to right click on this and set it as a desktop background, as well as the license. So instead of typing it out, I've got it here. And it's not going to be blurred out because this is just the automatic virtual machine activation key. So when a VM is Windows Server Data Center host, you can use this key if it's Server 2019, and it will talk to the host to activate its license. To install that license key, I'm just going to use slmgr.vbs, that VBS script on the slash IPK to install it. Successfully installed. And we should be able to activate it with slash ATO. Give it a second here for it to return the activation status. There you go, product activated successfully. So that'll carry forward when you deploy this after we create it as an image as well. I can show you that. But the last thing that I wanted to do for this demo is to also update it. This is something that everybody should do as a part of their image, assuming you need updates. And, um, you know, for the most part, people need updates. So we're going to update it. This, of course, will take a few minutes. So we'll pick this up as soon as it gets back from updating. Once the updates are, are done, you notice that it, of course, needs to restart and safely restart it in audit mode. And what it'll do is when it comes back up, it'll just still be in audit mode. So we can continue working on it if necessary. All right, once it finishes that reboot, and then, of course, want to check for more updates. Just in case those updates trigger some additional ones. There we go. There was just a Windows Defender update, so that's all there was. All right, so we can go ahead and close out of here. And instead of using the GUI for the sysprep tool, we're actually going to launch it from the command line. All right, so the sysprep executable is located in C Windows System 32 slash sysprep. And then we're running the out-of-box experience, which is the oob parameter. Uh, and we're also generalizing it, so that removes all of the personally identifying information of the VM, so name, any custom SIDs, that sort of thing. And then, of course, I want it to shut down. I don't want it to reboot, and I'm having it shut down so that we can, uh, of course, do some work to it when it comes back up. And then setting the mode to VM, since this is, I'm working inside of a VM. All right, cool. And so now we have a virtual machine that is set as a template. So the last thing we want to do uh, to be able to work with this template is, of course, to export it. So we're going to select where we want it to export. And so I've got a folder on the E drive called VM template, and that's where I want it. So I'm going to select that folder and select export. And there under status, you can see the export process percentage rising. So that's how you create a custom image in Hyper-V. So the next couple of videos on images in Hyper-V, we'll go over maintaining that image as well as how to deploy from that image. So I actually how to make it useful.